What is up everyone, my name is Exceptional and today I want to give you guys some more Falheim tips. Falheim has quite some challenging fights, especially all of the Forsaken bosses. Even though the first boss, the Egg Tier, is kinda easy, the second one isn't. So in this video I want to give you a complete rundown on how to get to the second boss, the Elder, and what you need to do to prepare. But before we go into the video, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more Falheim videos. So we are going to dissect the second boss in a few different parts. How do you find the Elder's location? How do you summon the Elder? What items do you need to farm and or craft to have everything you need to fight the Elder? And how do you beat him? Let's start with how do you find the Elder. Just after you finish the Ike tier, you will have a lot of grinding and looting to do. The Elder is usually on the other closest island. Remember, Falheim's map is procedurally generated, so all our worlds will look different. So with knowing that, the best thing to do is follow the following steps. Step 1. Make a pickaxe with the hard antlers the Ike tier just dropped. Mine a boatload of copper and tin. Remember, copper will be mostly in the middle of the Black Forest and tin will be on the beaches around the black forest. Tin and copper will have to be smelted in a smelter. Whenever they are ready, you can make bronze. You will need to have a forge to turn the copper and tin into bronze. Whenever you have one bronze blade, you can make bronze nails. This in turn will unlock the small boat blueprint. Build the boat, grab some food and sail to the next island. This island could look similar to the first one, but that is okay. Make a small mini camp and start exploring. You do this until you find a dungeon on the second island. Go in, loot everything and kill all the monsters. At the end of the dungeon there will be a small red runestone that will give you the location of the elder on the island. Step 1 completed. Now that you know where the elder is, you need to know how to summon him. Just as the first boss, a sacrifice needs to be made. This time you will need 3 ancient seeds. There is a possibility you already have a few, if you don't, do not worry, they are not that hard to find. The Ancient Seed is a random drop from Grey Dwarf Brood and Grey Dwarf Shaman. The easiest way to farm the seeds is to go to the Black Forest and look for a Grey Dwarf Spawner. Just keep destroying the Grey Dwarfs and you will get the 3 Ancient Seeds you need. So, now that you can summon the Elder, you will first have to get everything you need to have a chance. The Elder is a much harder boss than the Ike Deer. I would recommend the following. You need a fine bow. 100 flint head arrows, 100 fire arrows, 100 normal arrows, a wood shield, a flint axe, a full troll outfit, a bunch of food, a hammer and some wood for a little workbench. To make sure you know exactly what to farm, I will tell you exactly how many materials you will need for the whole list. You need 10 fine wood, 10 core wood, 2 deer hide, 150 wood, 16 flint, 20 feathers, 44 raisin, 4 leather scraps, 15 troll hide, 3 bone fragments, a hammer and a lot of food. Craft everything and bring your 3 ancient seeds. It is time to defeat the Elder. The Elder is a very dangerous boss. It can damage you from very far range and he also has the ability to summon roots from the ground basically everywhere he wants. And he also has a lot of health. Oh yeah, to make it even worse, there will be a lot of mobs around the boss, like Grey Dwarfs, Brutes and Shamans. The whole reason we crafted so many arrows is to try and keep our distance. Because he is a big old tree guy, fire arrows are your best bet. After a hit, the fire will keep on damaging him for a little while. You want to avoid melee range as much as possible. The Elder will keep following you around and throw different range attacks. The first attack is a barrage of branches he launches at you from his hand. Whenever he does that, move away and run to cover. If there is no cover, just keep moving and stop fighting him for a while. The second attack is where he summons roots from the ground that will slap you when you get close. Don't get near them and just move away. So now that you know what he does, how do you win this fight? It is a very basic strategy. Keep your distance, shoot as many arrows as possible and whenever he attacks, you run. Also, whenever there are too many Great Dwarfs, get some distance from the Elder and kill them all. You will have to do this once in a while. The Elder has a lot of health, so there is a chance you will run out of arrows. Run away a bit and make a little workbench and repair your stuff and make some extra arrows. 
this will be the best way to kill the elder and keep yourself safe. If you can do it co-op, do it, it will make the fight much easier. My name is Exceptional and I will see you in the next video.